Hey all you film camera people out there, it's Antique Camera Guy again and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about the Argus C3 brick camera. Um, I mean, it's called the brick because it is shaped like a brick and it feels like a brick. It's so heavy. This is a rangefinder camera. Um, here's a rangefinder. I don't know, it's bad. I'm bad at this. The focus is bad. It says rangefinder, that's how you... Uh, focus in on your subject. Um, let's look through there if we can. Yeah, see if you're there. I can't mess with it right now, but that's how you'd uh, focus it. And then here's the actual viewfinder here. Through there. Um, here's the top here. That's just the uh, film meter. Whenever you're, whenever you got film through it, it'll move every time you advance it. You wind it like this, or maybe on the bottom. I don't remember. I haven't done this in a while. And to rewind it, you have, or to yeah, to rewind it, you have to have this lever here back to rewind it. Here's a cold shoe. I don't have a, a top flash for it, but and uh, right here, the shutter button, it turns to instantaneous or bulb setting. A lot of people mistake these cameras for not having a bulb setting, but I guess they just don't look close enough because it's right here. You turn it to the white dot. <coughs> Sorry. And press the shutter cocking mechanism, and it'll go and stay open. That's what bulb does. Um, some of you uh, may recognize this camera from a Harry Potter movie. I think it was Prisoner of no, it was Chamber of Secrets, that's what it was. It's in the Chamber of Secrets, and one of the kids runs around taking pictures of Harry Potter with it, so one of you, some of you people may recognize it from there. I guess it's sort of a famous camera. If you find one, like if your grandpa gives you one or whatever, don't think it's worth a, for a fortune. It's not a Leica. It's probably worth about 50 bucks, so... Don't think it's worth a fortune at all because it's not by any means. Here's the uh, lens setting with with flash. Different settings you can do. Um, got this camera for free. I bought the flash for like six bucks at an antique mall. So yeah, if you have any questions about this camera or any other cameras I've previously shown in any of my videos, leave a comment and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can with answers to the best of my knowledge. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.